down here. See how many we lost. <laughs> <laughs> this is the maintenance shop. We had the uh, regular maintenance on this side. On that side over there, instrumentation. Used to be a lot of uh, electronic equipment in that bay in the back there, where they, uh, uh, you know, for control for the reactor and the, the engine room. Uh, to that door, stores for uh, parts for pumps and motors and things of that nature. Uh, the control room's in through here. Watch your step. This is a pretty uh, high threshold. Yeah, I still see some of this stuff in water plants. Mm -hmm. Old MC oh, <laughs> All right, you last? Yes, I'm the last. Okay, this is the uh, main switchboard uh, generators. Two steam turbine driven generators and two uh, diesel driven generators were connected to the switchboard here and are distributed from here. Uh, they would be uh, operated two in parallel when the reactor was up. The steam generators would be in operation when the reactor was down. The diesel generators would be in operation. And, uh, the rest of this is just you know, distribution for the various parts of the ship. So this way we got the control room. Right. There we go. What do you think, huh? Don't mess up. Here, get close. Here, put your hand up here. Let's take a picture of you being the working. Oh my lord. <laughs> I'd be lost. Uh huh. Yeah, you are. This is actually pretty simple for a new plant. Look. <laughs> no touch. Alright. Uh you want to come in? You make sure you don't want to work. Oh, could, if you can uh, oh, sure. back down a little bit, we have a couple more people. Just one more. One more? Yeah. All right. This is the control room. This is where uh, the ship's propulsion systems and uh, some of the auxiliary equipment were operated from. The uh, schematics you see on the, on the wall here basically represents your reactor, primary coolant system here running uh, hot water through the steam generators and circulating back to the reactor to be reheated. This is, this is the pressurizer. pressurizer. The uh, reactor here is a pressurized water reactor. They couldn't allow boiling to take place within the reactor. Uh, this served as both like an expansion tank and also maintaining the uh, pressure in the system to keep the water uh, at a high enough pressure, typically around 17, 1700 PSI so that it wouldn't boil within the reactor. Steam generators here, the water from the reactor ran through tubes in the bottom part of the steam uh, generator and the water in the steam generator would uh, pick up the heat from the primary water. Steam going to the, uh, there we are, <laughs> over to the uh, turbines that ran the ship. And then the rest of it is, you know, that steam condensed back into water and pumped back into the steam generators. Uh, that part of the board uh, provides, shows the position and provides control for the uh, control rods within the reactor. But it was rarely operated from there. The reactor uh, rods were pulled in and out in groups and you know, there was a, almost like a program to, uh, you know, as to which our odds came out first, and when they got so far out, the next group would start coming out, uh, etc. Uh, but they could make adjustments there to individual rods if, you know, if the position indicators indicated that maybe they weren't uh, coming out evenly or whatever. Uh, does anybody have any questions? The condensers, does it run off, they run off the seawater? Seawater was the cooling media, yeah. And uh, the, uh, which is also the uh, biggest, most uh, loss of efficiency in the plant. The seawater, the, the condensers, all the heat that goes over the board. Oh, the normal crew in here was three people? They had uh, the engine room, they had four man watch. Okay. Uh, 
three, third assistant engineers that function as reactor operator, steam plant man, and an out, what they called an outside man, uh, who took care of auxiliary equipment outside of the engine room. And then there was the supervisor watch was the second assistant, senior reactor operator. They also had an unlicensed personnel who worked out in the, uh, the steam plant. One man per watch. All right, anything else? I can step out to the uh, engine room here. A lot of it was, uh, come on in uh, further so we can uh, get everybody in. And please close the door. Thank you. A little bit. Not when she's running, though. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here behind me in yellow, you see the, this is the main engine. The, uh, uh, the two orange, that's the high pressure turbine, low pressure turbine. The yellow are the reduction gears. And uh, if you're at sea and you lost the reactor, this was uh, <laughs> jokingly referred to as your take home motor. And, uh, <laughs> it would uh, barely give you enough way to provide steerage. <laughs> uh, but that's what it was termed. Uh, over there on this level, we've got an oil fire boil boiler. Or um, when she was in port and the reactor was shut down, it was used to provide what they refer to as hotel services, like uh, heating, uh, steam for the steam cables in the galley, that type of thing. On that side, you got your two steam uh, turbine operated generators, which were those that were normally in operation. The diesel generator uh, over here on the lower level. Uh, and up in that corner, You've got a couple of uh, what we refer to as evaporators. Basically, they, they were stills. We distilled sea water for uh, drinking and uh, boiling water, makeup, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I thought, you know, you, you get it all taken, but it tends to be perfect for fermentation tanks. <laughs> but uh, anybody have any questions? Oh, yeah. Oh, of course, if somebody had earlier asked about the condenser, well, that's right below the low pressure turbine. Unfortunately, this is as far as uh, they let me take you to the engine room. That's what I said. <laughs> now, if you could start back through that door. Any, uh, any questions before we leave? What is, what's the gallery up, uh, up at the top? That, that, was, that was put here. Uh, you know, as the ship was built, they had a lot of passengers to come in and take a look at what was going on. And when they, uh, when they carried passengers, even the engine room watch had to wear uniforms. <laughs> so I was happy. When I was out here, they didn't have passengers. <laughs> now, the, the nuclear steam supply is which direction? From here? The, uh, that bulkhead okay. there is... Uh, the reactor components going there. Beyond that. And this forward, right below us, and going in that direction is the, the shaft, the propeller shaft. Yes, it's a shaft. What do you think, buddy? You like this? <laughs> okay, there's uh, nobody. Any other questions? Uh, okay? No, the best you can do is the uh, thrust priority, uh, but uh, the shaft is further aft, and there's a bulkhead, so it's going to break. Mm -hmm.